Hello, this is Tim. We're going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 3, going for 100% completion, actually doing the tasks. And we're going to be doing the El Burro's um, phone missions. Now, I actually learned a little bit of trivia just, I think, today, that the actual voice actor um, for El Burro is the same as uh, Muddy Chonks. And um, when you know that, you, you, you listen to their voice and you can hear the similarities. So, so just park my car over here. So yeah, this is our first sort of uh, race we've had to do, which is, but that's fine. Now it is possible you can get something to, maybe the grenades or something to uh, blow up the other vehicles before, and then just drive around, but um, I'm actually just going to do it. It's, the, the race itself isn't too hard, the AI is a bit stupid. The one thing I'd say is just that, um, just don't don't try and go too hard at the start. Just uh, just le lean back, and they're going to take themselves out at one of the first few corners. So the race itself is probably going to take about a couple of minutes. So here we go. So we've got, and if you crash into any of these, the race just starts. So we've got some quite flash cars here. Here we go. So we get to drive those cars later. See, look at this. They're going a bit nuts already. It's fine. And one of them's already out. Well, not out, just <coughs> the person. Don't worry about this. <coughs> so, the second one's being silly. So, look at a bit of the map to work at where we're going as well. And make sure you go through the middle of these um, things as well. Ooh, ooh. Although that can be the problem when you're following these. Now, this one we need to go up to the right, not this one, the second street. Now, when you, as soon as you're leading, you've got to... Ooh, careful, turn right there so you can go left here. Now, we're going up by that hospital. Ooh, just watch that. That hedge can flip you up if you hit it wrong. Okay, around the traffic. Ooh, go in the middle. Going up by um, Tony's place. Okay, watch the traffic. All right, down by the fire truck. So I'm just going through here. Now to the right here. You gotta you, um, just check your map that you actually that it's registered. You've gone through them. Oh, not ideal, but oh well. I think we're going up the hill. That's fine. As you see, there's uh, none of the others have passed us yet. They. If you crash or something, they might, but um, you don't need to drive too crazy. And you got some some room if you do miss a thing or spin out or whatever, so don't worry about that. Just um, slow down at the start, let a few of them crash into each other, and then 
find your time to uh, nicely pass whatever's left. Okay, we're into the next one. Next one's quite simple, I think. first, which is by the uh, taxi, Borgline taxi, basically right behind it, click on this, let's use this, find the ice cream van, eh? Now I did see uh, someone, someone else doing a, a little video, and they what they did here was um, uh, I don't know if they took the the bomb, but they um, there we go, that's fine. They ended up just shooting the uh, the targets, and then because of that, they had the ice cream van that they could use uh, for the import export warehouse. But we've already got that from our fire truck mission, so we don't need to worry about that. since we actually did the missions. Yeah, we're just going to drive around here. Actually, we need... let's put a bit of sound on. Now yeah, watch out. That, that bit of that grass down there, we, the last thing we're going to do is roll and ruin the quest vehicle. Yeah, we can see where we need to drop it off. Now just around the corner is actually where they are, so... Exit the van, use, then use the re remote to detonate the ice cream van. So we're just going to run over, well, safe. And we can see them coming over. Now there's only one shot, so we need to get all nice and close. So there's four of them here. Can't see them all. Here we go, that'll do. Just like that. So, yeah. Oh, actually, no, no, I was going to say, we don't, we don't need to worry about the um, Uzi's there. No, he wants to fight, does he? No, he wants to his car back. Good for him. Good for you. Anyway. Oh, oh, then the Uzi's just despawned after all that. <laughs> don't, um, don't be indecisive, I guess. And we can see another armor up there, but hang on, let's just... Now, a little warning, the next mission we're going to do is going to permanently piss off the triads. This is one of two missions, There's the other one's for Tony. Um, so, uh, yeah, as I said, the first two Elbera missions are fine. The third one, after we do that, um, <coughs> that's what's going to annoy them. So just keep that in mind. We're going to have to do it at some point, but if you're missing other things, maybe do those things first. Alright. Your bubble! Some insolent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it and left it burning. 
some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Poro's well in that wrath. Arriba! Here we go. So we need a flamethrower. And we're going to kill about 20 odd, uh, what's I think about, I think it's 25 triads, not in a, um, hang on, we're going to take this other car. So it's not too hard, but as I said, that, they're going to attack us on sight after this. So there was a security car back there, so if we wanted we could have dropped it off at the, uh, what do you call it, the docks. It's completely optional though. Now is that up, where is it, remind me, is it here? No, no, it's in here, ah oh, yes, it's, I think it's in the wrong place. So you see, I can walk around them at the moment. I'm just a guy. So I've, I've killed two lots of them in rampages, I don't care about that. Right, here we go. So remember, let's go kill 25 trades. Now, we've got two and a half minutes. It's going to be heaps of time. As soon as you set them on fire, they're, 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 they're done. So they run a bit, but then they stop running. Just, just set them all on fire. But be careful not to run into the fire. That's it. It's close enough. Okay, he's one. Ah! You're going to see that vehicle on fire, didn't like that. At least they do run away from you when they're on fire. So you see we're doing it with plenty of time. to go, still got a minute. Just remember that when you set them on fire it takes a few seconds for them to actually register or to actually die, so one to go. Now they're going to hate us after this. So. Here's our car, oops, see they're running after us already. And they're shooting, that's fine, let's just go. We've got one more Elbow mission. Ah, oh dear. Because I got baseball bats. Move out of the way, please. Move out of the way. Let's just get out of here. I wonder if we can get our car back. I do love that car. <coughs> that must have despawned. Here we go. Oh, come on. Yes, we've got to do a spe speed. The guy fell off. Okay. Now, the next one um, is definitely the toughest of the El Burro missions. Oh. It's similar to the um, the first one where we're driving a vehicle. We've got to go through checkpoints. But the vehicle itself handles poorly. Um, especially around corners and hills and things. Very easy to roll. Yeah, and um, I think one thing before we get into it is there's going to be a series of checkpoints, but you don't have to get them all. That's one of the key things. So if you miss one, just don't stop. Don't try and go back. Just move on to the next one. Does that make sense soon? A thieving opportunist has 
the stolen event of my latest publication, Hub of the Press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open, and now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Tuss Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spankhead, waste him. Then deliver my Donkey Derby to Triple X Max in the red light district. Okay, so what we see, it's not going straight away, there's this van over here. So it's not going to sort of, the time and stuff's not going to start till we get in there. And the first one's going to be down here, so basically, to start with at least, um, there's going to be some time pressure. <coughs> so try and go in the middle of the, here we go, here's the first one. Now these are quite small, but don't worry, just, yeah, let's just see, here we go. Got 23 seconds, so... Now we, you can sort of pass a vehicle and things, so I'm not worried. I've missed one, that's fine. Go to the next one. I missed another one, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Just look where we're going. There's nothing on the map to indicate, so here we go. 12 seconds, not ideal. Okay, now we need to hit a few in a row to make up that short fall. But not too fast, we do not want to roll on the hill. Thanks for that. Okay, we're going down here. So you can sort of pass them, but... Now, we're going to, not too fast, they're shooting at us, that's fine. See, we're going over here now. Right through the triad territory, though they're not happy, that's fine. I was about to say the time is getting better, but when. Don't worry about that. We're lined up now, we're going this way, is it? <coughs> it's a bit of a long mission to just catch your path, forget about the noise. We got this. On the outside, we got this. Now we're going down. Oh, yes, we are. Missing a few at the start really killed that time I had, but so right here. Now, where do we get to the end? The timer ends, so forget about that one I missed. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. We're almost there. We don't have to go back and get any of the ones we missed. And our last act is just to smack into the guy. Alright. And now, we can go back, and drop it off, and then we're finished. So in some ways that sort of show what I was talking about, about, uh, yeah, you know, if you miss some, you can imagine you, you, you can't stop, you can't go back, because then if you go back you've got to turn around again and that's just going to kill all your time. If you've passed it, you've passed it. This is the mission finished. Oh, Alright. So, yeah, um, now one other little thing. Um, at this point, if we want. Um, El Boro, we can go back to that phone, um, the Turismo mission is repeatable. So before I got a time of 166 seconds, it's possible to go back and redo it if we want. Can I back to my portfolio? 
Is it ringing now or not? There we go. So you see there's no um, icon on the map, there's no little blue thing by it, but um, yeah, if we want to go back it's possible to go and have some fun at that again and try and beat the time. But anyway, that's um, those optional ones out of the way, so next time it's going to be Tony Tony's missions. And in the middle is going to be one for the dawn. <laughs> and yeah, there's a little... Uh, bit of magazines that are down on the ground for doing it, finishing it. Let's have a quick look at the stats. 34% now. 22 missions done. Here we go, 6 rampages, 31 packages, 8 jumps. <coughs> Turismo, 166. Patriot, 225 seconds. Here we go. Yeah, so that's where we are so far, but um, thanks for watching, um, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, and um, thanks for watching, see you then, right bye.